Hey guys, how y'all doing out there? So, you guys may be wondering, what am I going to do in this video? Well, let's just say I kind of have to call out some companies and give some praise too, because I'm going to do both, of course. Now, one company that I do have to call out for a certain game that they brought out in like 2000. 19 I think it was and I think everybody knows what game I'm referring to 2k games Okay, 2k games Please listen listen up. Okay, please listen. Okay Okay, here's what I have to say to you to you I say every single year when you bring out a new WWE game Honest to God, it's like you took out features from some games and brought it back in others. Okay? Like, like maybe the special referee mode? Yeah, I think you brought that back in 2K24. Whereas... Wait. Last time I remember that being in was like... Smackdown vs. Raw 2007, I think? Which I, if I remember right, was a, was a game under the Ukes label, I guess? Yeah, uh, yeah, I think it is. Um, THQ, or THQ Nordic, as it's now known. <laughs> um, okay. Am I going to call them out? Or gives them some praise. A little bit of praise. Okay? The praise I have to give is for all the games you made in the past which were good, but also there's some times when maybe you guys should have listened to what the what the people had to say. Just saying. Okay, what's another? Nintendo. Now, now you guys are probably thinking I'm gonna literally tear Nintendo to pieces, right? Not entirely. I do have a few things to say to them, but honest to God, it's like it's like things they probably should already know already. Okay. Try this. Nintendo. Now, with the Nintendo Switch, or Nintendo Switch OLED, or Nintendo Switch handheld, or whatever the whatever that little whatever the smaller model of the OLED is. What I think you guys really needed to do was you needed to figure out a way to make it so that way you can live stream, record longer clips, you know, that sort of thing, you know. I'm just saying. Just that, just hope. Okay, what's another? What's another? Let's see here. Okay. Madden. Or EA. Depending on whichever you prefer. What do I have to say about them? What else can be said? It's like Angry Joe's been saying for years in his Madden reviews. He's literally been saying this that they've been they have not done a damn thing with it. They keep using the same engine over and over and over again, and they just and they just throw it together just like like that. Now, okay, for those of you guys who didn't um. Who didn't, uh, who didn't hear what I said. The company that I did call out first was, was, uh, were these people right here. 2K Games, because of this, because of this piece of shit. That's right, this game sucks. This game is so bad. 
I am beginning to wonder why they released this piece of crap at all. 2K games, if you knew you weren't going to be able to work through you-know-what, why didn't you just say, why didn't you just say something like, uh, yeah, listen, because of the upcoming you-know-what, we are not going to be able to put out WWE 2K20 at all. We're just pretty much just going to skip that game altogether. And you guys could have, and when you guys were able to get back together and actually work the office again, what you could have done is you could have put out like something, you know, you could have put out like, I don't know, WWE 2K23? Like you, no, no, no. Okay, let me explain, let me explain. You could have put out 2K23 like you did, but you could have added in a few a few extra features, a few extra modes, shall we say. Now, let's see now. Now, let's see. Company I'm praising? Bandai Namco. Reason? Simple. The games you put out are good, okay? But it's just sometimes they kind of feel a little bit, you know, the same. Now, do I think that all companies need to be need to be called out? Not at all. No, no, no. I just think sometimes people you need to call out companies when they make mistakes. And that's the lesson here, people. Okay. Next company. Ubisoft. Ubisoft. Okay. What are you thinking here, Ubisoft? When you literally have nothing to give. When all you're giving people is the same tired old crap all you're giving them is the same old crap you just literally give them games like this and all the other and all the other ubisoft baloney you give them now let's see hmm. Okay. This game. Do I stand by what I said in this game? Kinda, yeah. Okay. It's like it's a bunch of mini games set in, set in the universe of the original series. Sadly, they don't get any of the original. Sadly, they don't get any of the voice actors back to reprise their roles. Which might have made the game just, just a slight bit stronger and might have made the game feel a little bit more um better, shall we say. Okay, what's another? Ah, here it is. Here's what here's what I was looking for. Come on out, come on, come on. Okay. Yep, it's time to give them some praise and call them out too. Konami, do you see what game I'm holding in my hand right now? Hmm? The Cowbunga Collection for the Ninja Turtles. Which has a total of 13, count, count them, 13 classic TMNT games. Now, do you know what that means? That means you put in some good ones, some meh, and some eh. That means you put in something for everybody. That means there isn't just isn't just complete utter garbage in this. Konami, but I've also got to know 
on a game that you guys say is coming this year. And it's a game that I personally do not have any experience with. And when it comes out, it'll be my first time ever getting to play it. Silent Hill 2, the remake. Now, I don't know if you guys are handling this, or if Bloomer Team is, or both of you. I don't know. What I'm asking you to do, I'm not begging, I'm asking, is I'm asking you very nicely, please don't add in garbage like like there isn't there, there shouldn't be garbage in Silent Hill 2. Okay? And Chris Valdez in in the Return to Silent Hill movie that you're making or maybe you're close to finishing it or maybe you're still fil filming it, I don't know. Dude, please get this one right. Because again in my book you have one. You got one strike against you, pal. Again, do you want to go for this? I don't think you do. Maybe what you need to do is you need to go back and re-edit the first movie. The one you made in 2006 and re-release it as Silent Hill, the re-edited version. That's what I'd recommend. Okay, here's how I'd fix it, okay? Okay, yes, I know I'm taking this idea from someone else, but I don't care. This has to be done, people. This has to be said. Try this, okay? Take from the start of the movie till they're on, till when they're on the road to Silent Hill, and then and then you have the opening credits. Not that hard to do. And again, like I said before, in those Sean Bean filler scenes. Cut them all out. It's that simple. And like, have like, have Inspector Gucci's name be mentioned only like one time in the movie, and I mean, have it be mentioned in like a note or something, like it, like it wasn't the game. Which yes, they were using the game as a blueprint for this movie, but they clear they clear as they did not know what they were doing. And if a monster that appear that appears in the movie isn't from Silent Hill One, you take that out. Okay. And again, since you can't, since you obviously think, since people think this movie is good as it is, it's not though. But since people want to say, "Oh, this movie's good as it is," no, it's not. Here's how you fix it, okay? Again, start the movie from when they're on the road to Silent Hill. Cut a lot, cut out all those Sean Bean filler scenes. And what you should have done is you should have made Sean Bean Frank, uh, I mean, Harry Mason. I I don't know why I said Frank there, sorry. Moment, momentary lapse of sanity, I guess. Anyway. Any monster that is not from Silent Hill 1, you... You cut him out. Why, oh why, was any of this crap needed in the movie? I'm serious. Why? You don't need any of this crap. Because if you're going to adapt Silent Hill 1 from game to movie, you do it right. Is that really so hard, people? Hmm? Is that really so hard to do? No, it's not. Again, again, I still say a re-edit of this movie needs to be done. I'm not kidding anymore. They need to go back, or somebody does, and somebody need, somebody needs to go back and re-edit this movie, but do it correctly. Again, start with Learn the Road, Silent Hill, and then 
cut out all those Sean Bean filler scenes, take out Pyramid Head, make the cult in a movie, a cult that wants to see their god be given physical birth, instead of a bunch of witch-burning nobodies. Um, let's see. Oh, and one more thing. One more thing that I've one more thing I kind of forgot to mention. Change the little girl's name from Sharon to Cheryl. What, is Cheryl a trademark name or something? No, it's not. People, that is not a trademark name. You could have called her Cheryl Mason. You could have you could have named the dad Harry Mason. You chose not to. Why? Give me one, one. Give me one good reason why not. No, really. I want to hear from someone out there. Be it the guy who actually wrote the script, or someone who made this movie, or one of you, one of you people out there to give me one good reason. Why this kid did not have the correct name. Or why anything in this movie needed to happen. Hmm? Exactly. That was all stupid. It was all wrong. Didn't need to exist. It was a waste of time. And it was complete nonsense too. And that, my friends, is why you don't adapt video games to film. Because someone is going to interfere and screw it all up. Don't do that, people. Don't adapt video games to film no more. If you can't do it right, don't do it at all. Alright. Okay. 